Hello friends, let's look into some of the um, enzymes that are routinely tested in the lab and these enzymes have a very important function and uh, they basically uh, checked out the estimates of which are checked out to find out the functions of different organs of the body. So we will look into the aspartate amino transferase enzyme. So what is aspartate amino transferase? It is an enzyme which is found in organs such as the liver, the heart and the muscles fine and uh, the levels uh, of these enzymes the, uh, we will look into what is the function of these enzymes so basically as the name refers to its aspartate amino transferase so it's an enzyme that uh, that transfers the uh, amino group of the aspartate amino acid so it's, that's why it's called as aspartate amino transferase enzyme so it has a key role to play in the organs such as the heart, liver, the muscles and um, it's really so it's released into the circulation is happens usually after an injury and the levels usually arise in 12 hours and it remains constant or elevated not constant but elevated for a period of five days. So uh, in order to check uh, the defect done to the heart muscles in the case of a myocardial infarction when there is a heart attack issue. So this test is done, the estimate of, the, of this enzyme, aspartate aminotransferase enzyme is, is checked out and uh, the detection, the, the quantities of which can be seen in the case of damage to the heart muscles as well as uh, in assessing liver damage. Okay. Now it is also checked out along with other cardiac enzymes such as the CK isoenzyme the creatine kinase isoenzyme and the lactic dehydrogenase enzyme LDH and the troponin. So these are checked out together the estimates of these enzymes are looked out together in order to find out the extent of damage which has been done to the uh, to these organs. Okay. So um, aspartate, uh, aspartate amino transferase is looked along with or checked along with alanine amino transferase ALT enzyme in monitoring liver damage. So uh, the ratios of these of these two enzymes is usually 1 is to 1 and um, in the case so we can see that the level of AST is greater than uh, ALT. AST standing for aspartate amino transferase greater than alanine amino transferase if the condition is, is an alcohol induced hepatic cirrhosis or if it is a metastatic or a cancer of the liver. Okay. So ALT is greater than AST in the case of viral or drug induced hepatitis and hepatic obstruction due to other malignancies. So the reverse is true. The level of ALT, ALT is greater than AST if the damage to the organ is because of a viral or a drug induced hepatitis or if it is due to a hepatic obstruction um, or other kinds of malignancies. So as I said before the degree of the uh, intensity or the degree of uh, increase in the levels of these enzymes will indicate the extent of damage. So the, it will also allow us to see the possible source of the problem. Okay then uh, a twofold increase is suggested of an ob obstructive problem often requiring surgical intervention and a tenfold increase of ALT and AST indicates probable medical problems such as hepatitis. So the degree to which the levels are rising can also give us an information about the kind of problem. So if it is a twofold increase it will suggest it is due to the liver damage due to some obstruction of the duct or if it is a tenfold increase it could mean that it is uh, a damage such as hepatitis. So we can also see elevated levels of uh, this particular enzyme AST in cases of pulmonary embolism okay, and uh, skeletal muscle disorder then um, in liver disease and the levels are extremely high in case of liver disease and other inflammatory conditions. So the assay that is done to check out aspartate amino transferase is basically an enzymatic reaction. So a reaction in which aspartate uh, reacts with um, alpha ketoglutarate okay, to form oxaloacetate and glutamate. 
So the purpose of this enzyme, aspartate aminotransferase, is that it will transfer an amino group from aspartate and transfer it to alpha ketoglutarate. So we have the formation of oxaloacetate and glutamate. Okay. So this oxaloacetate will be uh, will undergo uh, reduction with the oxidation of NAD plus. So oxaloacetate becomes malate, and uh, the, the the reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme malate dehydrogenase. So there's production of NAD plus. Okay. So this is the reaction that uh, takes uh, that uh, that is uh, that involves glass lime. This is the reaction that involves aspartate amino uh, transferase. So we can see increased levels of AST in acute renal disease, biliary obstruction, bone metastasis, brain trauma, cancer of the prostate, cirrhosis, etc. Okay, so these are some of the uh, examples in which increased levels of AST is seen. So we can see decreased levels of uh, AST, aspartate aminotransferase enzyme, in in these conditions uh, such as beriberi. So this is a deficiency in vitamin. B1 vitamin B1 or also known as thymine okay then uh, other conditions are diabetic ketoacidosis hemodialysis pregnancy uremia so these conditions the level of AST is less so let's look at the uh, the ranges, the re normal ranges. So in the females, the ranges is between 9 and 25 units per liter. In the case of males, it is between 10 to 40 units per liter. And uh, elderly people will have slighter higher than norms, and newborn babies will also be two to three times higher. Okay. So this is the reference ranges. This is in units per liter, and this is in uh, so let's look at the reference ranges of reference range for the enzyme AST. In the case of females, it's between 9 to 25 units per liter, and in the case of males, it's between 10 to 40 units per liter. In the case of elderly people, it's slightly higher than normal, and in the case of newborn babies, it's two to three times higher.